How's it going guys and welcome back to another Silica video. So uh, today we have got ourselves patch 0 0.7.31 uh, Introduction of three alien air units and other changes. It's going to be a very short video um, Basically, there's not many changes to go through. I will go through each individual one with you though um, If you enjoy the video, please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell notification button um, If you're looking to see some Armored Core 6 gameplay, I will be live tomorrow at 7 p.m. UK time if you want to see some more silica, then on Sunday I will be live as well. So we are talking Sunday at the 27th of August. I'll be live at 7 p.m. UK time as well for some silica Sundays. You can come and play with the alien air units and the human air units as they go head to head in a trading system. So um, if you want to know all that entails a little bit more in depth, uh, have a look at my previous silica Sundays in the live section of my channel. And that'll give you a bit more, uh, a bit more to go off there. What I do with the game, basically, I don't play. I end up being coming like a floating admin, where I like um, trade in units basically and give you air units to use instead in a real, in a real uh, PvP scenario. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys can join me for that one. Anyway, so we're going to be jumping into the newest patch. So we have got it open here, and uh, yeah, basically, um, thanks for the feedback. Um, feedback is very appreciated for you have provided with such the last update is valuable and it helps shape the game Namely in the form of balancing so thank you guys for the feedback in regards to the human air units It is good to see you guys interacting with dram and making sure he can get those balancing changes out There are still more to come, but he has now started the balancing and we can currently see it in this patch as well, so The first thing to be added into the patch today, so you can see the big boy there the Colossus um Basically added alien air units, the Wasp, the Dragonfly, and the Colossus. This is three of five units, so the other two are not in this patch. However, they will be coming pretty damn soon, pretty damn soon. So, the alien air units added to the uh, arena game mode, so you can spawn them in and try them out in a PvP scenario like Team Death... Oh, sorry, not Team Deathmatch, there's no Team Deathmatch in the arena, uh, uh, FFA, free for all. Um, however, you can cheat spawn them into strategy as well, if you do desire... Or if you just wanted to play around the sandbox, you can do that as well. Also, if you want to know how to like open up a sandbox game, um, in my Silica playlist, I'll try and remember to leave the uh, the, the link to the video down below. Have a look at my, um, uh, my console command guide, which will allow you to access the sandbox mode. Right. So, the next patch note is going to be fixed. Scorpion Impaler Tail Turret Aiming Algorithm, sometimes aimed off with fast movements. So I noticed it quite a bit. I thought it was just um, just for balance purposes, but it seems to be actual an issue. Um, when you'd have fast movements with the Impaler or the Scorpion, or if you were like, jumping and stuff, uh, you'd, you'd find that your, your aim will be way off um, from where the screen center is. So um, I'm glad that's fixed. Um, that should make uh, the Scorpion and Impaler more accurate to be fired, especially when moving. So that's gonna be interesting. Fixed. Now I know this one for sure. Ambient sounds on structures could be heard through the fog of war. So, in a strategy game, if you're the commander and you're trying to figure out where the enemy base is, sometimes you can actually hear their buildings um, working through the fog of war, which gave you like a direction of where those buildings were. So I'm glad that's been fixed. However, I still wonder if you can see the actual um, Bolterum being mined in the fog of war, because that is something that's still uh, prevalent. If you want to know where the enemy base is, look in the fog of war. And if you see a harvester currently mining uh, Bolterium, then uh, you know they're pretty much there. Um, you can see the Bolterium sparks coming off, basically. I th hopefully that's going to be fixed, if it's not already fixed. Changed. Reduced human aircraft speeds from 40 ms to 30 ms, so meters a second. Um, that is quite a substantial uh, debuff. Um, I haven't actually tried the alien, sorry, the human air units yet in regards to the older speeds. However, they were quite quick for what they were. Um, hopefully, this slows them down enough to allow for more intense combats. Now, we won't really know what this means until the actual air units get released into the full game. And we can actually have them in a real scenario without having to just test through uh, through either me or through sandbox mode or through, uh, through arena. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good change. It just shows us balancing coming to the aircrafts. Improved handling of aliens on walls in certain circumstances. So I actually, I actually noticed this instantly when I um, did my um, alien air unit video. If you haven't seen the alien air units already and like an in-depth look at the health pools and what they can do, um, I'll leave the uh, description for that video as well. 
in the description so you guys can have a look at that basically i noticed with the wasp and the uh, dragonfly uh, fly mainly when i took control of them and land them onto walls um they seem to have a lot more um just maneuverability able to move quite nicely it's quite smooth um no jitteriness as well so um it looked, it looked pretty good it looked pretty good um and then the last one was improved auto healing uses the percentage of health instead of the hit points so i got a feeling right i don't know this for sure i haven't spoken to drama about this one at all um, I've got a feeling this is quite a nice buff. Um, and the main reason why I think is because instead of using the health hit points, so for example, you got a crab with low hit points versus a Goliath, um, it would use the hit point value instead of the percentage of health. So I've got a feeling that kind of levels out the um, the regeneration of all units into like a similar thing. Um, so it means if a crab was at a higher, sorry, lower HP pool, they'll be regenerating a little bit quicker rather than uh, just having like say one hit point and then going off that basically. Um, so, uh, well, it would actually mean more for the Goliath, because if the Goliath was at a lower HP, then you'd be healing at the same rate as, like, a low HP crab. So, um, I think it just makes more sense. But I'll, I'll, I'll have a look into it and see what Dram, Dram has to say. But um, that's what i got a feeling it is, but it might, I may be totally off here, guys, so I do apologise if I am. Anyway, if you guys want to see the air units, I'm going to quickly just fire up Silica and quickly show you. You can currently see that we've got the boy as well, the, the old Colossus. Um... But yeah, there's not much to show you today, guys. But you know, you know how I am. I cover every patch notes I can possible. So, we are just going to start up a sandbox mode. There we go. So we're going to load up Rift Base in the sandbox. Which means there's going to be no AI and no strategy. And here we go. So. We just got to activate cheats again. So we're now on uh, Rift Basin. So. First of all. Let's get the alien air units in. So we have got the wasp. The dragonfly. And the big boy. The colossus. So if you haven't already seen these these guys, they are very much in the counterpart of the real world terms. So the wasp looking like a wasp, dragonfly looking like a dragonfly. The Colossus looks like a beholder, to be honest. Um, if you haven't seen a beholder from Dra Dungeons and Dragons, and I think Pathfinder as well, um, then you know he's pretty much a uh, well. Without the tentacles, he can shoot beams out of his eyes. So uh, this is pretty much what the uh, what the big boy can do. There we go. So, um, that's the Colossus. Um, the Dragonfly is a melee and, uh, ranged based air unit. Um, it could also mount onto vehicles and buildings relatively quickly. So it's going to have a real good use when it comes to, uh, being able to swarm armored targets. Uh, same goes with the Wasp. Um, the Wasp is probably the better choice for this, whilst the, uh, Dragonfly has more of a anti-infantry role to him. But, um, again, uh, melee only this time, and they're both still on 600 HP. Whilst the Colossus is 100,000. Okay, so enough of that. Um, if you want to see more on the air units, guys, have a look at my first look. Um, Alien Air Units Part 1. Um, like I said, there are two more to be added. But they are not currently in the game just yet. So, we're going to actually spawn in. Um, I'm going to have to spawn them on Alien side to stop activating the Colossus. Uh, we're going to look at the gunship. Now, oh yeah, I can already see the, the, the speed difference. It is not as speedy as it used to be. Um... It's hard to compare when I don't have access to the older style uh, speed, but um, you guys can tell. I looks like I just got shot out by the Colossus. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run away a little bit. Um, yeah, if if you guys have played with the gunship already, then you'll kind of know the speed difference. Uh, you've probably played it more than I have. Um, I haven't really touched the air units. I'd be more of like a, a caretaker for servers when it comes to spawning air units in. Um, same goes for the fighter, the dropship, and the bomber. The elite aircraft, however, um, we disregard that unit. The unit should not be in the game. It looks like it's going to get blown up anyway. There we go. So, that's that one for you. <clears throat> the Scorpion and Impaler turret aiming algorithm has been changed um, to make them more accurate. So, let's have a look at those two. Oh, that's the Hunter. We don't want that one. There we go. Um, don't make me on soul. Okay, so, fast movements. Oh, yes. You'd love to see it. Okay, okay, okay. 
Just by jumping alone, you can tell it's more accurate. And same goes with the Impaler as well. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so that was a prevalent issue where you pretty much had to stay grounded to be able to hit your target. So it's nice to see that the uh, alien units are more accurate on the fly and when they're able to... Uh, well, when they're able to move quickly and, like, jump around and stuff. So, easier for dodging stuff, but able to keep sustained fire down as well. So, nice to see, nice to see. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, handling of aliens on walls and circum circumstances. So, I don't think it's going to pretty much be differential. Nope, there we go. So, it is very much nicer. Um, as you can see here, if, if I were to do this in the pre-patch, if I was to go like this off this wall, um, in about 80% chance I would have fallen off the wall. As the crab, so it's nice to see him more stuck to the wall. So, um, yeah, very nice change for the aliens, being able to stay on the walls, a, a, you know, a lot more. Um, he's wigging out a little bit though, but there we go. Right. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, auto healing. I don't think I can demonstrate this. We'll see. I'm gonna see if I can hit the impaler of the scorpion. There we go. Out killing him. Right. We're just gonna have a look at him naturally. See when he starts regenerating and how quickly he regenerates. It's hard to see when you're. Uh, when the colors are off next to sand. It's the same color t technically as orange versus the sand color. 274, it just went up by a little bit. 280, so up by 6. You should go up by 6 again. Yeah, up by 6 again. And then we're going to actually spawn in a infantryman as well and just check that as well. Okay, and then if I were to hit the scorpion... Now, if he's in a higher health pool, let's see what he goes up. Hopefully, he'll stay at six. We'll see. Uh, hold on. I need to, I need to rework that out again. So, uh, what, we've got 88 on the end. And he just went up by 20. Higher HP means higher... Um, yeah, okay. And we still gone up by six for the Impaler, which is a percentage of HP. No, he's gone up more now, so he's our high HP pool. So, in the orange, he was going up by 6. Now he's in the white, he's going up a lot more. So, um... Wait, hold on. I think he's going up by 6 still. He is still going up by 6. Okay, so... Right. I wonder what the hunter goes up by. So, I'm now experimenting in my own patch, uh, patch uh, video. Let's see if he goes up by the same similar amount. Yeah, he does, yeah. Okay, so that's fair enough. Um, I would have to ask Dram for the exact values. Like I said, guys, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Um, but that is interesting to see. They are regenerating a lot quicker than they were prior. So it's nice to see the regeneration going up quicker as well. You see the Impaler still increasing. He's going up to 400. He's going to be on his way to 500 in no time. They go 406. So, um, yeah, guys, that is all for today. Um, yeah, I apologize. It's a very, very, uh, very short video. But again, join me on Sunday for Silicon Sundays, guys. And uh, without further ado, I will be seeing you soon. And uh, yeah, peace out. See you soon.